video on circular motion part 3 in this video we will discuss about centripetal acceleration what is centripetal acceleration in uniform circular motion see you have known that uh, uniform circular motion although we call it uniform but it is not uniform it is actually accelerated motion the speed of uh, the particle is not changing but because the direction is changing this becomes non-uniform motion and there is a certain amount of acceleration today we will find the direction and magnitude of that acceleration now see here i have taken this example the body is moving from this point to this point here the velocity is v1 here the velocity is v2 velocities are different but the speeds are same that means magnitude of v1 and magnitude of v2 are same equal to v right now one thing in this diagram to be learnt is that this angle is actually very small angle in the diagram the angle seems to be very large because i have to show change in velocity now does the velocity change after a long distance or does the velocity change even after a very small distance of course the velocity will change after a very small distance so this can be drawn here also Again, two points pass pass may be bana sakte lekin diagram clearly visible ho calculations easy ho that is why this is shown big otherwise you have to assume that this theta is very small now calculating acceleration what is acceleration final velocity minus initial velocity upon time i have to do this vector operation Deekho, time ka koi direction hota nahi hai. so whatever is the direction of v2 minus v1 will be the direction of acceleration so i am doing this vector operation this is v2 i am drawing v2 now i have to draw minus v1 this is v1 so the reverse of it will be minus v1 okay the angle between these two radius is theta so this angle will also be theta ab ye theta kaise ho gaya see this velocity is perpendicular to radius velocities find kaise karte hain tangents bana ke and tangents are always perpendicular to radius so v2 is perpendicular to r v1 is also perpendicular to r so if the angle between these two radius is theta the angle between v2 and v1 is also theta yahan pe maine v1 sirf isliye banaya hai taki aapko theta ka yahan pe pata chale okay say uh, the angle between these two radius it is theta so angle between my fingers is theta now i am turning both the fingers by 90 degrees what is the angle between the fingers now it is still equal to theta clear to is radius ko 90 degree ghumaya v2 mila isko 90 degree ghumaya v1 mila to in dono ke beech mein angle theta hai to v1 aur v2 ke beech ka angle bhi kitna hoga theta hoga okay but here the angle is to be taken between v2 and minus v1 so here i have drawn minus v1 you can see this alternate angle z so if this is theta this is also theta okay now as i told you that theta is actually very small theta is very small agar main isi diagram ko banata hu theta ko bahut small karta hu see this is v2 this is minus v1 and this is theta now if this theta is very small this angle and this angle they are both nearly equal to 90 degrees so the same concept i have transferred to this diagram this is also 90 this is also 90 so what is direction of v2 minus v1 it is perpendicular to v2 what is direction of v2 minus v1 it is perpendicular to v1 clear that means ye v2 minus v1 kiski direction batayega it will tell you the direction of acceleration ab iska matlab kya hua acceleration is also perpendicular to v1 acceleration is also perpendicular to v2 okay abhi ye pata chal gaya that acceleration is perpendicular to velocity to ab usko fir se is diagram mein transfer karenge this is velocity draw acceleration perpendicular to velocity 
okay this is velocity draw your acceleration perpendicular to velocity now you can see in both the cases acceleration is pointing towards center okay both the accelerations are pointing towards the center that is why it is known as central pointing acceleration or centripetal acceleration so direction yahan se clear hui now finding the magnitude okay to find the magnitude i will make use of theta from this diagram and from this diagram right so uh just see from both these diagrams from here theta is equals to arc upon radius theta is equals to arc upon radius from here theta is equals to arc upon radius radius kya v2 what is magnitude of v2 is equals to v2 maine directly wahan pe v likh diya right now what is v2 minus v1 v2 minus v1 is change in velocity compare this with this s upon r is equals to delta v upon v all right differentiate both the sides with time this and this radius remains constant during uniform circular motion so radius is outside speed remains constant speed is also outside here delta v changes to dv because now we are going for differentiation okay so what is ds by dt velocity what is dv by dt acceleration so v by r is equals to a by v v ko transpose karo this side this becomes a is equals to v square upon r this is the first expression for centripetal acceleration now you know that v is equals to r omega in previous derivation we have learnt that v is equals to r into omega place this value of v over here one powers cancel and this is r omega square both these expressions can be used to find the magnitude of this acceleration and because it is always directed towards the center it is known as centripetal acceleration okay something else is also there apart from calculating this magnitude and direction in the next video i'm going to discuss about centripetal and centrifugal accelerations